Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here from Social Flight with another cool building stage on our Titan T51D Mustang. Today, we're gonna to talk about shrinking, specifically how you turn a angle like this that is straight and rigid into something like this that is still rigid but bent into something like this, which will end up being the finishing on our canopy and so we're going to have the canopy right over here and I'm going to show you how to do the work now it all starts with one of two different tools that uh, you've seen us use probably in an earlier video when we did part of the canopy uh, windshield and that is a shrinker and a stretcher and uh, these are available we got these from Eastwood you can get them from a whole bunch of different places including probably Harbor Freight etc and they're very very cool tools and fun to use and so one of them as the name implies when you has jaws that will stretch metal and the other has jaws that clamp and then push the metal together shrinking it when you shrink metal that is at an angle you end up turning it into a curve which is the whole purpose here because what we're trying to do is do uh, the part of the Mustang. If you look at any real Mustang, you will find on the forward edge of the canopy is a piece of metal that is the cockpit edge, the canopy edge that seals against the windshield bow. And to do that, it is an angle piece all the way around, but it has to go through that curve. And so we need to shrink the inner parts of it in order to get it to fit. Now, the way that that is actually done is that we take the piece and we mark it. I'm gonna, I have a center mark that is right here. And then as I go down, I've marked an area of curvature that's gonna happen here. And then a few other marks. Now, Titan gives you this part. This is a part that, uh, that they have made. And uh, what I'm looking to do is actually duplicate that part, but I'm gonna do a couple changes to it to get it to fit the way that our canopy is. I want it to be just a little bit longer in back to where the canopy actually starts to go. And then um, I want to use the uh, actual shrinker because you can use pliers to actually shrink things. And that's what Titan's done here, works very well. Um, and it leaves a fluted edge. And uh, in the Titan design, they actually put some seal, uh, sealing material across that edge but I'm gonna use mine that's gonna be bare on this one and go up against a seal. And so in order to make that work, when you use um, uh, actual shrinking, you see it doesn't give you those, um, those big ripples. It's, very, it's actually pretty smooth when you do that. So um, let's get to work. I'll show you how this, uh, how this actually goes and um, you can go practice for yourself because this stuff just is not very expensive and it's a lot of fun. Now, I already started the process a little bit here, and so I've marked a center point, and I'm gonna put the camera in there. And so I already marked the center point, and then over here you can see how it's actually starting to curve down, but I actually need to do quite a bit more to make that work. So I'm gonna back off the camera, so you can see that, and then I'm gonna bring into the frame the actual uh, uh, shrinker so you can see the process. So for example, right now it's lining up pretty well here, and then I know I need to put some more that happens right over in this section. So I'm gonna pick this up, take it over here to the shrinker, and then, let's make sure I'm not gonna scratch anything on that this in give it a pull now I'm going to zoom the camera in so that you can see this and how this actually moves okay so you can see this bend it's just very smooth and what's nice is I can also reverse it just a little bit if I go too far because once you've moved it, if you're very gentle, you can actually, you can actually get that to bend back too. Okay, so when I lay this on here, you can see that it's curving nicely around here and it needs to continue the curve right about here and that's where I'm going to continue the curve.
now I'm going to go a little bit more. Perfect. As you can see here, it's coming down and I'm just going to continue that curve around now. And at this point, when I put it in the shrinker, one of the things I'm looking to do is to try to make it a little smoother of a curve in general. So I'm just going lightly at different points so I can get the curve that I want without having it be focused on any specific point along the way. And now it's time for me to start work on the other side of it. And the same thing, I'm just working it through here to get that constant curve in that area. And then I can take it and do it again. So same thing, looking here. I've started to get that curve to happen in this area. And now I'm going to do some more, bringing it in from that point. together nicely. Now I can see where I need to continue some more. Again, it's nice that I can kind of bend it back if I look looks like it's too much in any one area. And there you have it. We have now gone and used the shrinker and we've got this uh, forward edge cap in really good condition. It's got a good fit to it. I can still just even use my hands and get small adjustments made and then it'll be ready to rivet on and it just uh, looks great, fits and uh, should have a really good seal as the canopy comes towards its forward edge. So just another tip there, good tool. This is it. Uh, again, it usually comes in a set of a stretcher and a shrinker and uh, I've got a base plate here that I'm using that makes it really easy to put it in a vise and be able to use it. So uh, do it for yourself. Go check it out. Uh, you can usually get one of these very inexpensively, as I mentioned, and, uh, and play with it. And you can find all sorts of applications. But in our case, I'm going to do the final fit on this and then get it all riveted into place. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. We have tens of thousands of aviation events, destinations, so many cool things. Our Fly to Win Challenge, where we're giving away prizes, and all, every Tuesday evening, you can go on and join us at socialflightlive.com, where we have some of the most inspiring voices from aviation and space here to share their stories with you. Again, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight and I wish you all blue skies.